Hi, my name is Jamila Pomeroy. I am a writer, model, actor, and filmmaker based in Vancouver, BC. I've been passionate about the environment my whole life, and I'm especially interested in making sustainability more accessible and a little bit more fun. We all know mushrooms to be a delicious kitchen staple, but a new scientific study has found that mushrooms are talking to trees through an underground network. This scientific study has proven forests to be even more interconnected than we imagine, with some mushroom and tree networks spanning over 100 kilometers underground. Deforestation is one of the leading causes of habitat loss and species extinction. It also exacerbates the effects of natural disasters like floods, forest fires, and mudslides. I'm in Squamish, BC, and I'm here to meet nature educator Ross Reed, AKA Nerdy About Nature. Uh, nothing quite like a healthy forest ecosystem. A large amount of the carbon stored in these ecosystems exists in the- I wanted to ask him about some of the main issues surrounding deforestation. Well, I mean, I think for me, the biggest root of the issue is that our Western society initially came to this part of the world and we immediately view forests as resources with economic values um, purely for timber. And when you look at a forest just for the timber values economically, you ignore all of the other societal, cultural, um, the ecological function that these forests have and serve. And it's really impo like really difficult to put a price tag on that sort of thing. Say a, a company logs and they clear cut a big section of land and they make X amount of money. And then that section of land slides down into a small town, um, over a highway. Wh where is the value here? How do we not value the ecological function of these forests intact? When we're cutting down one tree, a lot of the time we don't think of the, the connection and the, the network of trees that are connecting with each other. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit more about that network and just how, how that works? A mycorrhizal fungi is a species of fungus that works underneath the soil, and it's this mycorrhizae fungi network that connects different tree species together, um, trees and species of, of plants and shrubbery in the understory as well. And together they all work in this symbiotic cycle, sharing nutrients and resources with one another so that they all can survive and thrive in these forest ecosystems. And, and the crazy thing is like, a lot of the time when we think of mushrooms, we think of you know the mushroom that we see on the ground, but that's mm -hmm. just like a very small part of what a fungus is. Like most of the fungus is actually underground yeah. and the, the from what I understand the uh, mycorrhizal is like this very starchy mm -hmm. sort of root system that that lives beneath. So a good way to think about it is if you have a tree right and on that tree there's a fruit that fruit is basically what a mushroom is to the fungus. So it's like when we see a, a mushroom on the ground, we think, yeah. oh, that's the mushroom, that's the fungus. Yeah. That's only one part of its, of its body and the whole vegetative tissue of the fungus is actually this mycorrhizal network, this mycelium that lives underneath the soil. When we, when we think of deforestation, mm -hmm. one of the main things that we think of is, is clear cutting. And we kind of think that that is the last thing that happens and you're just destroying the forest in that physical region, um, but there's more to it. The trees are the most prominent things that we see, and that's often what we value these forests as. Um, and then when we cut them down, sure, we lose the life of the trees, but with that, we also lose all the different things that held them together, the intricate root networks that work um, symbiotically with the different fungi species that live in the soil, which you know is gonna make it more difficult for understory to grow back, which is gonna make it a, a lot drier of a microclimate so that mosses aren't gonna be able to exist here. And when we clear cut these areas, we're like fundamentally changing these ecosystems to a point when they may never come back. And if they do come back, it's going to take literally thousands of years we can't just replant them and expect them to come back on a quick 70 year harvest cycle, which is the way that we're doing it now. And it's just, yeah. it's not reasonable. Mushrooms and trees are working together to keep the forest healthy and thriving. And it's our job to help them. 